Um, explain your statement this morning. We made a commitment to parents that we're going to stand up to ensure that their children remains in school after two incredibly difficult years. Nothing should matter more to all the parties, including the union. And it's why we are very pleased to be entering private mediation. We believe every party must exhaust every avenue to avert a strike that this union, QP specifically, is trying to impose on children. We want kids in school, and we hope that through this discussion, we will land a good outcome for the workers, but most importantly, a great outcome for these kids that preserves the in-person learning that every parent in Ontario insists on and that our government and our premier will deliver. This private mediation, is that uh, binding or is it, uh, describe the parameters of it? Uh, essentially, we're bringing in an uh, independent mediator who we've used in the past with this union that just two years ago helped us deliver a deal. It does require all parties to be reasonable. Uh, imposing nearly $20 billion demands or nearly 50% increase in compensation wouldn't be a way to do that. So we're going to the table with the spirit of being open, reasonable and student focused to keep these kids in school. And I hope that the union will come forward with reasonable asks uh, that allow us to get to the finish line, that allows us to get a deal done so that we can just put this behind us and focus on what matters to these kids, which is getting back on track on reading, writing and math and helping them rebuild when it comes to the physical and mental health that I think we all recognize has taken some impact so over the past years. We owe it to these kids to keep kids in school and we will do so. By going into the uh, mediation, does that suspend the timeline for the no board report. I know I understand the ministry can come down at any time with That's that. correct. But uh, was there some sort of agreement reached that while you're in mediations, they, the, the threat of uh, no board report? Unfortunately, the, the teacher union uh, has enacted uh, on a path to a strike. We hope the private mediation will uh, avert a strike that it is unacceptable for children and unfair on the taxpayer. And my hope is that the union will hear the voices of parents who insist that children remain in school. The Premier and I have been abundantly clear. We will stand up to ensure they do. And my hope is that through the private mediator, we can land a good deal for all parties that protects the in-person learning and allows these kids to focus on catching up, on reading, writing, and math, and building those life and job skills that I think they really need to lean into uh, as we help them uh, complete their school year without interruption, without disruption. And in reading into Last that uh, wording, uh, does that mean that uh, you will legislate them back to school? The hope of private mediation is to avert a strike that the union is, is uh, uh, potentially imposing on children. We think that is unacceptable and unfair on every child who has borne so much impact over the past two years. We care of committed to keeping kids in school. We will stand up to do so. And my hope is that through the private mediation process, the union will get sober second thought, reflect on the strike that no one wants, no one will accept work with the government and the trustees to get a deal that keeps kids in school. That is our bottom line. That is what we're standing up for. And I assure families out there that are a bit anxious because of the potential almost continuous threat of a strike as it's happened every dec few decades and every few years in this province for many decades. Uh, I just want families to know to be assured that we will ensure that their kids remain in school right to June without disruption. What does that mean? So I'm lo looking at it and I hear all the words from both yeah. sides. So you're quite prepared to legislate them back to work. You've probably already got the legislation already drafted. We're prepared to land a deal that keeps kids in school. And the message to the union is to hear us loud and clear. Children must be in school after the last two years. And I'm imploring them to stop the strike language and the pathway to disruption and work with the government and this new private mediator to land a deal that is good for all parties that protects the in-person learning experience. Is there a time limit on the mediation? Uh, three days. Three days for mediation. Okay. For Monday, Tuesday.